Maxine, but Martine, she is a very important woman for me. She's 74 years old. She loves cats, and I adore cats. I think in my videos you can see a lot of them. Um, but the most important thing for me is that she is alone. And in those horrible times of COVID, to be alone, it's not easy. Then what I will ask you to do in that amazing tour of the garden tomb and the church of the Holy Sepulcher, I want you to write some messages to um, Maxine Martin in that video and then we'll ask Maxine Martin to read it every day and then please surprise her and I want her from right now to be part of a community who loves people can I ask you to do that? It doesn't matter for me if you're a Christian, a Muslim, Jews. A person is alone and is not supposed to be alone in, I mean, every day, anyone, especially when he, he is 74 years old. Then uh, this is your mission for me. Spread that video to everyone and ask everyone to do that for her and dedicated that cross to you and sin and it's the lord's prayer here it is if you want to have your own cross please um, write me a message i will send you the link or look at the description of that video look for the link of buy me coffee and you will have all the information now for me that tour is special mainly because um, Maxine wants to see both tombs. There are two tombs in Jerusalem of Jesus. There are two crucifixion places. Um, then that is two resurrection sites as well. This is the garden tomb. It's the, from late 18, uh, 19th century. Um, mainly because um, it's outside the walls. And um, and that's why it's, it's, it, it might be the true one, but the other one, it's very easy to convince you, me uh, that it's the true one as well. It's not so far away from each other, then it doesn't matter for me. What is matter for me that, uh, uh, that Jesus was actually crucified and took your sins. Then, uh, then let's celebrate the idea that he resurrected here, there, it's it's not so important for me. Um, I will uh, start, just let that uh, lovely old man uh, to go out, I don't want to disturb him. I will start with uh, visiting the tomb, and then I will make a short tour of the garden, and then in just like three, two, one, you will, uh, uh, I will meet you again at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is the tomb that Joseph of Arimathea gave to, um, to Jesus. Joseph of Arimathea was a rich Jew, Jewish man who had a family tomb in his own garden, very close to the crucifixion place, according to the book of John 19. And he gave Jesus his own tomb that no one used before. And this is so important for me no one used before because uh, when a Jew dies at the second temple time uh, after a few years they're taking their bones out put it in a small box by the name Osiri and the idea is to bury someone else in that cemetery and this is the Osiri Then let's walk a little bit through the garden, but before that I want you I want to see, I want you to see the rolling stone, which is not part of 
Oh, wait a minute, please. Something fell from my here, my uh, hair pod, and uh, I want you to listen to me. Then, Maxine, that is not the original um, Rolling Stone. Well, only Big Jagger is the original, of course. But you can see here the tunnel. Through the tunnel, they can roll the Rolling Stone and close the um, the cave. That window is not for the sun. Um, the Jews believe that tombs are not clean, um, and the soul must leave. Um, the body at least after the third day in that case it goes out from there listen carefully for the f third day third day um, if you go to St. Lazarus Jesus resurrect him after the fourth day it means that his soul wasn't there and still he did it <coughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. It's snowed here last week. You can see a reminder of it. This is the water system. Shows you that a rich man was here. <coughs> Again, sorry, I was here for the snow and we are not used to snow and this is the result of it. And what I want you to see mix in here is the Calvary. Looks like a Golgotha. This is from the 19th century. <coughs> <clears throat> Today it's a little bit different. You can see the eyes, the mouth. It looks like a calvary. It looks like a skull. And that, the lookout is closed now. But now you know it. You know what it looks like. And I will take you to see it from the point that I can. I cannot reach the viewpoint. They promised to open it next week. But next week in that region is... Uh, can be last uh, or next year. If you didn't subscribe my channel, this is a good time to do that. You can even ring the bell there and you will get the latest videos. If you do want to find something, because uh, I took more than almost, I'm getting there to 20k videos um, on almost any subject um, then if you cannot find it there you can ask me to do that uh, you can ask me to look it for you then although I cannot continue I can reach that main area if you can see a little bit of the Calvary that you saw in the video, uh, in the picture. There it is. Right there. Then we promise not to forget Maxine. Please be a friend. I don't know if she's from the States, from UK, from a different place in the world. Through that YouTube uh, movie, a video, you can be a friend. And Maxim, don't forget to read it from time to time. Let her be happy for the next 45 years. Done. I will see you at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in three, two, one. Here we are. We're now in front of the second tomb.
or the first two, whatever you will have. Find out. And Maxil, Martin, you will follow uh, a little bit of the church for you. I cannot go into the church uh, with the video. He won't let me. But I already did it. That I'm blessed inside the church at the tomb. The tomb structure that you see here is from the 19th century, but it's on the original site of the tomb of Jesus. And if we will continue to talk about it, it's not only the tomb, the tombs actually, it's the resurrection uh, place. Then, although it's called the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the um, Greek Orthodox call it the Church of the Resurrection. And in a way, I accept that name better than the other. Um, the tomb is divided into two. The first part, Maxine, is um, the Chapel of the Angels. It took care that no one will steal the body of Christ. You can see the candle in it. And the inner part is the tomb itself. Now, if it's okay by you, let me take you to see another tomb here. Because remember the question was, how can it be that the church of the Holy Sepulchre is you know, in the middle of the city? And it is the center of the city of today. And we know that the Jews have been buried outside the walls. And we know that the garden of Joseph of Ramitia was outside the wall as well. Then... Hmm. What's happening here? According to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre believers, that place was outside the city at the time of Jesus. The city of Jesus is 2,000 years old city. Can you remember what's happened 2,000 years at Manhattan? Or in your city? I'm sure that it looks totally different especially Manhattan, but let me take you to visit another tomb next to Jesus' tomb. And that is different than the tomb of, uh, um, that we saw earlier at the garden tomb. First of all, the, the room that you see here is, I mean, the, that wall is from 4th century, from the beginning of the church, from the time of St. Helen and Constantine. Secondly, the room that you see here in front of you looks like a dump in the most important church, or not. Um, because that church, not like the I don't want it to be so there. Pitiful Gardens. That church belongs to almost everyone. Catholic, French, uh, uh, Greek Orthodox, Armenian, um, uh, Syrianic Church, uh, Coptic Church, name it, it's there. Now that room uh, is kind of a debate. There's a lot of debate who owns that room. It was belongs to the uh, Coptic and uh, sorry to the Ethiopian, then the and then the Armenian, the, um, sorry, the Cyrenic Church. The Armenian believes it's their church now, their chapel now. I don't know. Then I don't want to go into politics anyhow. But for me, the most important thing is that place, and this is a tomb. We actually talked about how they used to bury people. But let me use the flashlight. And you can see Maxime. Martin. That, it looks different. You see the niches? The story is the same story. Um, this is a, a very typical uh, second century, first century uh, tomb, second temple time, Jesus time. The other one that we saw, the garden tomb, is earlier than that, but um, you cannot actually 
put a finger and say, all right, from that date, we have that kind of, uh, of uh, tombs. Then in that case, it can be there, it can be here. But by visiting those two places, you can actually say, I've been in the tomb of Jesus. Or at least I know the story. And let me remind you, my friends, remember, she is our, our mother now. She's, uh, she needs our love, because I think she's just full with love. Then don't forget her, write her messages, um, talk with her uh, through the YouTube. And if she will want, she can send us her email and you can actually write her through her email. I'm doing something and, and th this is me. I need to help everyone. And uh, although she didn't ask me for that, but the minute she wrote, um, I'm alone, uh, it, she became my mission and she became part of like my second mother. But this is the tomb, but you know, because we are already here, let me show you two more places here. I will do it quickly, then you will see. We are going backward. He actually resurrected, and before that, he was buried. Uh, look at the Armenian chapel. And let me. Bless the cross in the place that they purify the body of Jesus. You can see it through there. There it is. Just after he died, before he was put in the tomb, then the naked body of Jesus touched it. And the gold tower. Is right there. Let's climb it for like two more minutes. Just to bless the cross. And to show a little bit more of the church. This is the Catholic part. You can see where they nail him to the cross. And the Pieta, Mother Sutter, suffering the agony of Mary. With the spirit in her heart, she knew for almost day one that her son will die in front of her eyes. It will be like a spear will enter to her heart, she said. They told her. And this is the crucifixion place. That's a good one. That's the exact spot of the crucifixion. You can see John to the right, Mary to the left. Let me go out to show you the facade of the church and then we will say goodbye. Please don't forget to subscribe if you do have some questions. Don't hesitate.
in the description you will find my professional Instagram and Facebook please use them as well and you can ask questions through YouTube Maxime it was a pleasure to meet you and the word Maxim Maxim in Hebrew is charming and you are charming look at the sun look how beautiful it is and let me turn around soon and you will see the facade of the church and then we will say goodbye Let's turn around. There it is. And thank you very much for being with me. And we will see each other in the other videos. Bye bye.